All right, what's up guys? We're here at Self-Made Training Facility in Costa Mesa, California for the Built Apparel Meetup. Uh, we're gonna do a group workout, giveaway, we're gonna meet some fans, we're gonna hang out, have a really good time, so stay tuned. CEO, founder, creator. What's up? Thanks for being here. Yeah. Um, if you guys, there's so much they don't know behind the camera, I know. but this guy is as genuine as you could, it's pretty much. Um, this right here is very real. It's extra real. And, uh, I didn't pay him for this either. <laughs> I'm not paying him to say this. You know, we're just teammates and stuff, you know. <laughs> but uh, thanks for being here. Hi, right, buddy. We're out. Follow JP. All right, guys, chit chat's over. We're about to do this chest workout. So since I'm one week out, I'm not really worried about building mass or anything like that. I'm more worried about burning as many calories and getting as good a pump as possible right now, even though I'm on pretty low carbs. Uh, so we're gonna start off with some high volume chest work, probably start off with some dumbbells, go into some more auxiliary work. So stay tuned, we're about to hit it. Starting off with uh, flat dumbbell press. Like I said, we're going high volume. So starting off with the 90s and we're going sets of 15 to 20. Uh, probably gonna do four or five sets. All right, now we're doing Smith incline press. Uh, I like doing Smith because I can really isolate my upper chest as opposed to doing barbell. It kind of keeps you in a strict plane. So I like this, but this machine's a little weird. 185 feels like, I don't know, 235. So don't judge me if I only get like five reps. <laughs> That spinach pump. <laughs> now we're about to do some inner chest work. So we're gonna find a cable and do some across the body work. Because a lot of times when people do chest, they only stick to this plane. They don't really go across the body. So it's good to do this different types of movement. That way you work this inner upper part of your chest. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Now that really focuses on building this inner part of your chest. I can feel it squeeze, I can concentrate a little bit more. You don't have to go heavy. Just do something where you can really contract your chest. I like touching my chest whenever I do it. That way, this part of my chest actually becomes a little bit more aware, more active, and it'll actually push back. So try and push back on your finger. Just a little tip. I only have a certain amount of reps before I gotta step on stage, so each and every single exercise, every rep counts, every amount of rep time, I mean, you have to maximize everything when you're about to step on stage. So for those of you that are thinking about competing, remember that each time you come into the gym, maximize your time. See you guys. See you later. Thanks again for everybody. Of course. All right, guys. Just wrapped up the workout team meeting. 
now it is time to go get some food. I am so depleted, starving. We did photos. We did way too many exercises. Okay, I got the I got, I got uh, Buffalo. Where are you guys going? Yeah. Buffalo, Buffalo Wild uh, Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Hell no. I'll see you in a couple days then, man. All right. see you, man. Get the shred going. <laughs> Viper GQ, <laughs> aka Caden. Go check him out. But yeah, let's go eat. Uh, let's go. All right, so we're almost home, but we're talking about when people make the transition from, you know, a non-vegan diet to a vegan diet, or even more closer to a vegan diet, maybe not 100%, but more plant-based, and the differences, the differences in their body and how you feel. And I went from vegetarian to vegan, and I could even tell like such a huge difference in the way I felt when I cut out like dairy and all those, the, the like dairy and cheese primarily. And like once you eat clean for so long, your body becomes so acute to the things you're putting in it. So like after you're vegan for like a couple weeks and you go back and you eat something like that's not as healthy, like you feel it so much more than you did whenever you were eating unhealthy for a long time because it's just like, that's just how you feel. You feel like crap all the time. But once you clean up your diet, I mean, you feel such a difference and you feel so energized and so just like alert and like ready to go at any time as opposed to like eating a heavy meal and wanting to go take a nap all the time, you know? So yeah, that was my, my little blurb. <sighs> Still haven't eaten. I have my meals right here. I'm so ready to go upstairs and just eat. So this is what I'm eating after the workout. First of all, say what's up, Bianca. Say what's up to my blog. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we caught her mid-bite. Anyway, uh, basically what I'm eating is sh shredded Beyond Meat chicken. Uh, I love this stuff. If you're listening Beyond Meat, hit your boy up with a discount code or something. <laughs> yeah. Is that your last meal? No. How much more calories you got? I had a four ton. About to dig into my meal. This is actually my second prep. I ate one like really quick because I was starving. So this is my second one since I'm like behind on my calories right now. Tastes good. Yeah. That's my happy dance. <laughs> so, change of plans. We were eating my meal prep, but since today is my high carb day, we're gonna go get some sushi. Show you guys what I eat, or what to order at a sushi place if you're vegan. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some sushi. I've had, I've actually had dog too though. Dog too? Yeah. Why? I had some. Uh, in like the United States? In the US? Yeah, yeah, I had some neighbors. They was from Taiwan. Oh, <laughs> just ate it. <laughs> no. <laughs> How'd you react? <laughs> it was actually good. All right, so normally all sushi places have a few staple items that are vegan avocado rolls, cucumber rolls. Veggie rolls. Uh, what else? Seaweed salad. Normally, it is vegan. Miso soup. Um, you could do the vegetable tempura as long as the tempura batter doesn't come with egg. But you can just ask the chefs. Uh, what else? Edamame. Oh, edamame. Yeah, it's a classic. And sushido peppers. Pretty basic, but then other sushi places have like a larger variety, but almost all sushi places have at least those. Do they have shishito peppers here? Yeah, spicy garlic shishito peppers. Oh, can we get those? Yeah. yeah. I want those. Why not? So we just got all our food, and this looks so good. There's a, the veggie... Um, avocado and cucumber. Oh, avocado and cucumber. This is the veggie roll. These are spicy garlic edamame and sushido peppers. And then these are the vegetable tempura roll. So excited right now. All right, so we just finished the feast. And not gonna lie, I'm pretty damn full. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed everything we did today. Showed you guys a little bit about how I worked out and what I ate. So stay tuned for more vlogs. Uh, we've got a lot of really exciting things happening in the future, so stay tuned. But you didn't freak out? Most no, people freak out because like, freak out. yeah. Most people be like disgusted about eating oh, this dogs. On the left side. About just explaining what you're doing. Like say, all right, now I'm going to the gym. Okay, now I'm eating. And that's basically vlogging 101. <laughs> <laughs> Second place. Sushi, aye. Stop. <laughs>